Hi friends, my name is Jacob uh, and today I'm going to present you our new tactical chest harness which is called Quick Drop. So we did this together in uh, uh, cooperation uh, with Edelried. Uh, next to me you will find Felix uh, from Edelried uh, who helped me a lot in uh, getting this product manufactured and brought to life. Hi, Felix. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Edelrit. Uh, thanks for having us. So, um, there's a lot to talk about uh, how you should or, or should you uh, use a, a chest harness. Um, what are you saying, uh, Felix, like in terms of uh, where the center of gravity moves uh, with loads of equipment and stuff like that? So. So definitely a, a chest harness definitely makes sense if you have a lot of upper body weight, um, if you have a plate carrier, body armor and maybe um, again a heavy backpack and then you need to have an upright position and then uh, the chest harness is the only solution. Yeah. Uh, so I'm well aware that uh, uh, most of you guys uh, don't want to use a chest harness um, uh, because you say okay uh, uh, a hip harness or a sit harness does the job. Uh, but just bear in mind, once you tumble like 180 degrees because you get uh, like unconscious or you get uh, like wounded, whatever, um, with all the extra weight added to your upper body, such as play carrier, such as ammo, such as long gun, such as helmet, uh, such as all other stuff you're carrying, um, the risk is very high that you uh, kind of slide out the hip belt. Um, and uh, since I'm well aware that uh, uh, this is kind of uh, not so sexy to wear uh, a, a chest harness, um, we tried to make it as comfortable as possible. So there's another product of ours um, which fully integrates in, uh, in a plate carrier. But I just said, okay, uh, listen, this can only be, cannot be the answer if I say, uh, if you need a chest harness, you need to buy my uh, plate carrier in addition. So uh, uh, I know that, that there is a ton of uh, like protective vests and plate carriers uh, in use out, outside. Um, you, you have to stick to that equipment and might don't, don't want to change that or you simply cannot change it. Um, then uh, we developed this idea and, but. We brought a bunch, idea, a bunch of ideas together. Uh, so this product uh, can go over uh, every existing protective vest or plate carrier uh, because it's attached to it. Uh, I will show you later on. Uh, and this is also a product where you have like full access to your gear because there is a, a ton of chest harnesses outside there um, where you don't have or you have limited, uh, timid, limited access to your, uh, let's put it, magazine pouches, equipment, whatever. Uh, and we, we, we wanted to avoid that. Um, Felix, um, was this a challenge uh, for you guys, like with all the input you got and stuff? Or uh, would you say, okay, uh, that, that was an easy one? Well, if, to be honest, it's fairly simple, right? Uh, it's a webbing-based um, harness. Um, we don't have in uh, a lot of padding on there because the padding is already um, on your chest with the mm -hmm. plate carrier. Mm -hmm. um, and the requirement was to drop it really, really quick. So we opted for the Cobra buckles in this case. Um, but yeah, the sewing is all done here at uh, ISNI, mm -hmm. um, at Edelrid headquarters in Germany. Um, because the webbing comes from um, Europe, um, we decided to sew it right away here in-house. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the webbing in use is a 28 mm webbing. Uh, we were using 25 mm Cobra buckles. Uh, same applies for the other uh, buckles we were using and uh, the, the norm we fulfill, Felix? So it's again in the world of sports, um, so the EN12277 Type D, um, which covers the, the chest harnesses. We opted for um, this standard because we wanted to have slim webbings, um, which do not cover the working <laughs> area in front of your plate carrier and so this was uh, the right standard to go. Yeah, what we also did um, <clears throat> is we did not uh, opt for uh, one fixing point. Yeah, you might be familiar, J just do me a favor if you uh, just grab the, the, the complementary or, or the, like the, the belt that goes in combination with the chest harness. 
Uh, that's our uh, 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 like tactical climbing harness. Um, there is one fixing point, and that makes perfect sense. But since like you have to, to do the trade-off, you know, you have to a lot of upper weight added to your to your upper body, uh, and and but you still want to move. Uh, so if if you just have one fixing point there, the movement still is limited. And so we were like, okay, in the field of application, what what could this be? Uh, there's a lot of tactical situations where you want to move on the rope, like uh, move. And then we said, okay, the fixing point should also move from left to right. So this is why we don't talk about a fixing point here. It's rather a uh, a, a fixing line, so so to say. Yeah. Um, with that element, that, that all comes as, as one set. Um, the color is uh, stone gray uh, only, or ranger green as you might call it. Uh, and again, um, we opted for different colors uh, for the fixing, fixing points. Correct, we opted again for contrasting to like the stone gray, because like with every belt we have now in the tactical range, um, it is contrasting to every other color and you see right away which is my attachment point, which is the safe attachment loop to go with. Yeah, it comes uh, with two different lengths of, 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 these, uh, yeah, of these, these fixing points. Uh, so one is longer than the other uh, and you can play with it. Uh, so that's on purpose. Um, it, it, it can also be a, a purpose because this, uh, depending on the unit uh, you're in, this could also be like a, a, a pooling solution. Like you have like a set of climbing gear somewhere sitting in the stock and that just gets this, this or issue to the guys that they get the task for the day or for the week. Um, when this uh, is becoming an individual uh, like uh, gear uh, of yours, then of course uh, you can then decide just leave the long or the short one away. Yeah, uh, that's also easily done. Uh, so you can slide this above this uh, 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 little, very tiny carabiner uh, and just get rid of one of these slings, no problem. So uh, what you see here in the picture is basically uh, the product consists of a front part and a rear part. So this one here is the rear part and it's meant to stay on your plate carrier or on your vest. Uh, I will show you on the plate carrier that it, it doesn't inflict any functionality of the plate carrier once it's mounted and then once you're in and that was the basic idea you're in the situation okay I need to go on a rope now uh, I need the front part this stays in one of the side pocket maybe on the plate carrier or in your trousers uh, uh, and then you pull it out and then you do four clicks attach the carabiner to the fixing point on the belt and then you're good to go yeah? Uh, the set it up um, is now shown on a plate carrier of ours and uh, Felix might assist me here. So that's just a, a standard model uh, of ours and we just start uh, with the back. So uh, we just we just put put it on and here I, I am using uh, two, two tiny like tiny helpers of ours, so that's uh, uh, these are Lindenhof items. It's actually a different purpose, uh, so I, I'm kind of misusing them for that application uh, uh, because it turned out it's a very good solution. You can also use, uh, for instance, back-to-back -back tape. Um, uh, you are familiar with, uh, uh, with most likely because we have it on all our play carriers uh, for uh, uh, like the fixation of tubes or radio cables or whatever. Um, so this is basically uh, then on the back part and as you can see here now <clears throat> there's ballistics underneath um, and this one distributes the pressure uh, that comes by nature onto your body well across the whole surface and since, since this is a hard surface it's a it's a really like the pressure is really taken off yeah, yeah. Um, then there is of course uh, the waist belt then uh, you can either decide to go on top of the pouches or what i recommend is you just go underneath with the skeletonized uh, uh, waistbands uh, we most um, mo mostly use uh, this is uh, uh, not not a topic at all it's easily done and then they go over the shoulder uh, and here I opted for just a piece of back-to-back -back Velcro 
uh, to attach the rear part of the chest harness to the plate carrier. So, said and done. This is now mounted and as you can see, despite that little buckle hanging around here, you can also fix this one with a piece of back-to-back -back tape and despite these buckles here and that little piece of webbing uh, that goes around, uh, the plate carrier itself keeps its full functionality. And in terms of a Lindorf pull, uh, plate carrier, full function functionality means that I have now full access uh, to our hook buckle, like uh, the quick drop device or emergency uh, uh, dropping device. I want to get off, no worries, nothing blocks. The buckles are away, uh, like from the shoulder, but I show you adjustments also where you can uh, fetch down that buckle well here. Uh, so that is also uh, according to your preferences. You can choose the way you want to mount uh, uh, the buckles and the spot where it sits. And now, Felix, if you do me a favor and help me out. So this is then the front part. You pull this out of your pocket. Uh, maybe you cover the left side, I cover the right side. And you just go click, click. Click, click. And then the front part of the tactical chest harness is uh, is then mounted. And as you can see here now, this sliding area, yeah, it's as wide uh, as the, uh, yeah, the, the, the front part of a plate carrier, uh, so a little wider than the ballistic itself. So you have now full access to every type of gear uh, you have been mounted here. So most likely, as I've been doing it here, there are sitting magazine pouches, maybe there's there's an admin pouch sitting there. Maybe there's a push to talk, uh, 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 push to talk uh, sitting there or there. Uh, no matter what, there's free access to it, and you can see here that the buckles in they're not sitting uh, like in your shoulder where the st stock of uh, your rifle should be. Yeah, and if you say no, ah, I don't want to have them too high. I want to have them way down below. There's uh, adjustment features right there, so um, maybe so. This is just standard, right? At Edelried, yeah. Just uh, make made made from two. steel, I guess. Correct. Yeah. And then you just uh, have the chance uh, to elongate this strap a little bit. Oh my God, this is hard. Like that. I'm just pulling like uh, five centimeters out. Slide the elastic band on top again and then I can pull it a little bit lower if you want and here you can do then the length adjustment again and how this looks like and in combination with the sit harness I will show you now right folks uh, as I said before I now want to show you uh, the chest harness in action and uh, I also said before that like mounting the rear part uh, of the chest harness to your plate carrier or protective vest doesn't block uh, opening mechanisms. So this is just a, a normal setup. Once uh, like you look to the front, you have your buckles uh, start away nicely with the back-to-back. -back. Uh, once I turn, you see uh, the side buckles. They don't inflict any like movements. They don't block any equipment, stuff like that. And also on the back side, um, these uh, cross straps uh, of the back side of the chest harness, they also do not inflict any uh, equipment you're carrying on your everyday carry. So once you want to get set up, you have your front part of the chest harness also stowed away uh, like in your pants or in, in your equipment. You just unfold it. And you just clip it in, so it's four clicks only.
and then you're just using the small carabiner and connect the chest harness with your sit harness and now you're secured. As I said, um, you can play um, like with the height of the fixing position. You want to choose a low one due to, I don't know, uh, additional weight on your backpack, uh, on your back while you're carrying a backpack or anything else. Uh, just uh, use the small one. It comes lower, it comes higher, whenever you want to do. So you can also play with this position here. It can be lower, but it can also be higher if you want to. So that all depends on you and uh, like the, the use case or the fields of application. And uh, in the hanging position, so I want to show you the benefits of this in terms of sideways movements. We stow this away, it's not required. So you just uh, use a carabiner, you clip yourself in. And in this case, you just sit. And this is what I said before. Just imagine, uh, I don't know, I got injured, I got unconscious, whatever. See that with a hip belt, the additional weight of my plate carrier would just drag me uh, the force, like the weight of the plate carrier, maybe I carry a long gun or a helmet also, would just drag me down the other way. Legs would go upside down and I would be, uh, most likely I would slide out of uh, my my harness. So once you're in that position, you could either like use the front straps and give a little bit more uh, tension to the system. Um, I'd say it's quite comfortable. Uh, also, as explained uh, in the description on the table before, uh, we gave you um, all the pressure of the rear part of the chest harness is now applied to the back plate of my plate carrier. So it's really comfortable because all the pressure is distributed on the hard surface and not on your body. All right, uh, I said before, it's not only a fixing point, it's like a, a linear, how you say, uh, that there's a, this sort of fixing point, it's, it's a basically a fixing yeah, line uh, uh, in that kind of application. So whenever, just imagine you're in a situation you wanna secure a window with your pistol uh, uh, because you're uh, like the guy that's in charge of securing the window. Uh, you don't want to do it in a position like this or uh, like this all the time. Yeah, you just can now easily move to the side and see that once I add a little tension to my body, then I can go almost vertical just with another weight on my uh, on my head, like with a helmet and a long gun, this would of course be uh, even uh, more helping to go vertical. <laughs> oh, sorry, horizontal is the correct term. And this is the other direction. So you see here, there's literally a wild field of movement uh, that gives you the opportunity uh, uh, to, to easily react to any situation you're in. And you're no longer uh, just uh, blocked by a single fixing point uh, that sits here or here. And you can also see nicely with that setup, I have full access to my magazine pouches. So whenever I'm required to pull one out, the chest harness uh, it does, doesn't, doesn't block uh, the use of uh, the equipment you're carrying and that's this is what it should do. So uh, any security uh, items you are additionally attaching to your plate carrier or protective vest system should not block you in a way that you're no longer able to fulfill your mission. That was it. I hope you enjoyed the video, the product description. Uh, grab something from the video for yourself and hope to see you soon on the next videos to come. Um, Make sure you follow us on, follow, uh, on social media, so I would be very glad and see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.